Are you an investor looking for premium market opportunities? Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calcon. Good morning and welcome to the ASX of Breakfast. I'm Rachel, live from Calkine Studios in Sydney. Australian shares are expected to open lower again this morning. That's taking weak cues from Wall Street. Market sentiment was hit by renewed concerns on inflation and looming interest rate rises, despite positive company earnings. The latest by futures indicate that the ASX 200 will open 60 points lower, or 0.9% lower. Yesterday, the benchmark index ended 0.3% higher at 6,800 points. Moving on to some news now, and the average daily turnover for toll company Transurban is up 60% on the first quarter of financial year 2022 for its September quarter. Sydney and Brisbane recorded their strongest quarterly ADT result to date. The result highlights the variety of reasons with increases in large vehicles, weekend travel, airport-related corridors and more commuting. Traffic in Sydney increased on the previous quarter despite four times the average monthly rainfall in July. Traffic in Melbourne continues to improve, particularly as more employees are returning to their workplaces. Brisbane achieved record workday, weekend and heavy vehicle traffic volumes with continued recovery on assets connecting to airports. And in America, the greater Washington area interstate and weekend travel supported an increase in September quarter traffic. Moving on, and Santos delivered record sales revenue and free cash flow this quarter. The company delivered record year-to-date sales revenue of 5.9 billion US dollars, up 86% and record free cash flow of 2.7 billion US dollars, up 194% on the corresponding period. Third quarter production of 26.1 million barrels of oil equivalent per day was slightly higher than the second quarter, and that's primarily due to increased domestic gas demand and reduced production downtime. Free cash flow of over $1 billion in the quarter reduced gearing to 20.8% at the end of September. Magellan have announced that David Dixon will be appointed to the board. He's just joined the board of subsidiary Magellan Asset Management as deputy chairman. He has 30 years experience in leading and growing investment businesses within the funds management industry. And from 2013 to 2020, David was a chief investment officer, equities at First Senator Investors. And that's formerly known as Colonial First State Global Asset Management. Well, it's time now for a short break, but stay tuned for more news set to affect your trading day. If you're looking to keep abreast of the biggest stories from the crypto world, the fate of exchanges and crypto hedge funds during the ongoing bear market, and you're wanting to keep up to date with the best and worst performers in the altcoin space and that of flagship currencies such as Bitcoin and Ethereum, then Calcine Media's daily crypto catch is absolutely essential viewing for you. Tune in each afternoon right here on Calcai Media to get the latest scoop from Anchor to ZeroCoin. And welcome back to the ASX of Breakfast Report, taking a quick look at the global markets now. On Wall Street, the Dow Jones fell 0.33%, the S&P 500 dipped 0.7%, and the Nasdaq ended 0.85% lower. Over in Europe, the Stocks 50 rose 0.2%, the FTSE fell also 0.2%, CAC dropped 0.4%, and the DAX ended 0.2% lower. Emerging market stocks lost 1.62%. MSCI's broadest index of Asia-Pacific shares outside of Japan closed 1.65% lower, while Japan's Nikkei rose 0.37%. Yesterday, crude prices were up on tighter supply conditions, rebounding after hitting two-week lows in the wake of U.S. President Joe Biden's plans to release oil from strategic reserves. U.S. crude rose 3.3 percent to close at $85.55 U.S. cents a barrel. Brent ended at $92.41 a barrel, up 2.64 percent on the day. The U.S. dollar strengthened, weighed on gold, sending prices for the safe haven metal to a three-week low. Spot gold fell 1.4 percent to 1,628 U.S. dollars an ounce. Well, that's all for our ASX at Breakfast Report here this morning at Calkine TV. Have a great day trading and stay tuned for more market updates and economic news live throughout the day. I'm Rachel, signing off for now.